Kasim here. Welcome to the YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to go over EMA. EMA is Exponential Moving Average, right? We're going to go over EMA. I use EMA with my, with using Heikinachi chart. So we're going to go over that today. Um, I'm going to show you some techniques that can help you with uh, your trading, that can help improve uh, your trading just with simple techniques. So if you are new to the channel, I would like to welcome you. If you are already a subscriber, I would like to, I would like to also welcome you back. Uh, please like and subscribe to, to the channel if you love the content that I create so far. I have a lot more content, a lot more educational content um, uh, planned. Um, so please stick around. I want you to stick around. Thank you and let's get into the video. So in the previous video, we talked about this candlestick is called the high Kenachi candlesticks uh, i'll leave a link of this of the previous video that will pop up right now or you can click on the i uh button at the top of your, your screen if you're on your phone or your ipad or whichever one but i did a previous video before this one so i urge you to go check check that out uh, by you checking it out you understand what this candles candle is how to read it um i they put a lot of effort into that video, so go check it out. And uh, this is a continuation of that video. So this is me showing new beginners, new people, how to build your own charts on TD Ameritrade. How to build a chart that you can easily rely on to be able to read trend in the market, right? So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna add EMA. And the EMA stands for Exponential moving average that is a tool that you can use that help you quickly identify trend in the market as well so you're just not relying on just only the the chart so now i use three different three moving averages i use them in combination so i'm going to show you how to add the moving average to the chart now so please take notes of what the chart currently look look like you know, take note, take note of what this look like before we add the EMA. So you can see, you, you'll be able to notice the big difference. Uh, what's the actual difference uh, by adding the EMA. So to add the EMA, what we're going to do is you're going to go on studies right at the top here. And then you can go on edit studies if you want. Or, uh, sorry about that. Let me move me down here. Uh, so you're going to go on studies and you're going to go to either edit study or what you can do is you can, I think either, now nah, this is for settings. You can click right here, right here on TD because there's a short, there's a shortcut. I, I just remember that this one, you can click right at this cup, this lab cup, lab looking cup, click on it. And once you click on it, what you want to do is you want to go here and type in E M A, right? And you need three of the, of it. So this first one, you're going to click one, click on it three times. One, two, three. Now, now once we have that, what you're now going to do is you're going to go on settings and you're going to change this to, unfortunately, it moves out really quickly. So you want to change this to five, right? That's the first one. And then you want to change this color to yellow. So that's the first one and um, you click. Okay. And then the next one you want to do is eight. You want to change it, change it to eight. And then you want to leave, change the color. You can choose whichever color you want, you want. But uh, these are just the random colors that I, I use. So I use uh, purple for that one. And then this last one here, it's gonna be a 13 moving average, right? So you're gonna add three to this and then you can change it. You can lift this at that color um, and then say, okay. Now, what I forgot to do was to adjust the, 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 the width, the wideness of uh, the candle itself. And I like to either keep it between five um, or three. It depends on uh, your preference. 
but let's see what five will look like i'll keep it at five and now also so the 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 five ema which is the, this one right here the five ema we're gonna leave the the width we're gonna leave it at five and then we're gonna go to the 13 and then also leave that at five as well and we're gonna go to the eight here I'm gonna go to the eight here and leave this at three okay because that's that one will be in the middle now just quick really quickly you see what the chart looks like this is what the chart looks like before I apply up ap apply it to the chart so now once I apply it to the chart it's gonna look a lot different now at first this can be a little bit confusing like like just like with anything new uh new to the eye it's 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 hard for the eye to try to grasp grasp what's going on so let me let me reduce the, the let me make it three and then let me make it three and i'll also change this to so i'll change the eight the 13 i'll change the 13 and the five to three and what I'll also do, I will change the, I'm going to change this to two because that's the middle one. It's, 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 it's pretty, uh, it's not really that much of a big thing. Now, how do you use this? You see what, you see what, how, what it looks like. It looks, it looks like this. And then you can see the cross, the crossover change in trend, the crossover change of trend, uh, the crossover, the trend died, crossed over, it pushed down. So let me explain this uh, a, li a, li a little bit better for you so you can understand how to use this. Let me move me up here so I'm not in the way. Or move me down here so I'm not in the way. So how do, how do you use this stuff? How do you use this? Let me show you. Okay. So what you want to notice is the yellow once the yellow cross above everything else once the yellow this is the five ema that's the five ema once that crosses above across it because from here it was at the bottom and then what happened is it crosses over the 13 and then it crossed over the eight ema this purple one is eight this uh light blue looking one is 13 and this um this this yellow one here is five that's the five ema so once the once the five ema crosses above all of it, it crosses above 13 and it crosses above above eight that usually signify a bullish uh, uh an uptrend a bullish uptrend that means most likely the stock will keep on going up now if let's say let's say you were watching this and then you see the EMA crosses, the EMA is above. You see that there's a big volume coming in, big volume coming in. And uh, the EMA is above, it's pointing, to, uh, it's pointing upwards. All the EMAs are pointing upwards. The, the light blue one, the purple one, and the yellow one, they are both pointing above, the both pointing upwards. Usually that signify an uptrend in the, in the stock. It signify an uptrend in the stock so usually in this kind of situation what i would do is still be in the trade until until the ema until the five ema crosses below below the eight it crosses below the eight definitely get out of the trade right definitely get out of the trade if the if the if the if the five EMA crosses below the eight, you get out of the trade because as you can see here, the the eight pretty much were, was up, uh, trending upwards as long as much as the five, which is this yellow one, trending upwards. Basically, all the EMAs are trending upwards, and as you can see, when the trend ended, that the five crossed over right below right below the, the eight EMA, right? Um, so that usually would signify change in trend and you wanna get out of the long position. 
So if you had a call here, you're betting that the stock will go up. What you want to do is you want to, um, once the five cross over, you want to sell the long position and uh, take keep your profit. And then um, if you want to go in for a short, that means you're betting that the stock will go down in price so you can profit from the downwards movement of the stock. What you want to do is you want to wait. Uh, you want to wait until the 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 EMA, the five EMA crosses below, right? Crosses below. As you can see, at, at this point, the yellow line crosses above um, all the other lines. It crosses above, and then it kept on um, staying upwards. So here, usually signify that the stock will keep on going up. And then once the yellow line crosses below at the bottom here the yellow line cross below usually this will signify that the stock price will be going going down right so that's pretty much it with the ema there's really not much to it uh there, there's really not much to it the this the yellow the yellow the yellow line that's the five ema if you click on it you can see this is the five ema is uh is a five ema and i made that uh i made the 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 width the wideness of the thickness of the line i made it three then the main color yellow right that's the five ema uh the eight ema the eight, eight ema is the purple i made it i made it two uh and that's the eight ema as you can see here made the per make it the color purple and then the last one but not least is the 13 ema that's the exponential moving average that's the 13 one and then what i did was make that three and make that light blue so so again to use it once the yellow cross above all the other other emas like at this point once the yellow crossed above it then that will signify a bullish strength that means the stock will keep on going up once the yellow crosses below the the other EMA, once it's below the eight and the thirteen EMA, most likely the stock will keep on going downwards. So that's what the EMA does: is a fast indicator that shows you the potential trend of what's gonna happen. So if you're using this now, you're trading with this, you're watching this, you can see once the candle, the actual candle, it it it, it pushed up. With a high volume and you have you have here you have the ema right above it most likely that's a bullish sign that the stock will keep on going up so you should probably have a long position long bias position um on this one so so that's how you look at look at it and then same thing here when it goes below it when it goes below most likely it's going to keep on going going down so you can have a short bias position I have a link down below to my my setup. Okay, I'm going to do an uh, I have a link down below to my setup. So, I highly recommend that you use the link down in the description uh, and I have videos on how to upload that link to your TDMA trade tra chart so you don't have to do this. This is just ex me explaining how each of this work so you are able to understand how to use this um i think uh when i was learning how to trade i obviously watch a lot of videos on youtube but i never had a situation where i had someone that is explaining every single step of how this work in an organized manner so um uh, please subscribe to the channel and stick around and uh yeah that's the end of this lecture. so jumping over to investopedia here this is the definition of what the EMA, what the EMA is, why people use it. There's um, there's a lot more details in here that you can read. I highly recommend you go out to read this and understand a lot more about how it works and why it works. Because what I'm trying to do here is to educate you about some of these tools and point you in the right direction where you can start your research um, on um, on understanding how to use these tools and then showing you how I use them because that's what I had to do when I started learning and 
you know, just diving more into um, the world of trading. So this, this uh, Investopedia was a good website for me to use. Really, really is a good website to use. They break down everything, you know, explaining everything to you. And at the same time, they always have a tiny little video here that would, you know, just give you a brief, brief explanation of how it works. They do a better job in terms of expl explaining uh, what exactly what it is. Um, here, they're going to explain what the simple moving averages are as compared to the exponential moving average. So I'm going to play that play that for you right now so you can, uh, you know, get an insight of how to use that. Let me let me play this for you so you know you guys can understand what it is a little bit better, how to use it. Uh, it's really a great tool to use. So let's let's play this. The moving average is a tool commonly used by traders and technical analysts to analyze the price movement of securities. The moving average is simply an average of a series of data points over a given period of time. Traders use moving averages to smooth out fluctuating data in order to identify overall trends and cycles. There are two types of moving averages that are most commonly used by traders. The simple moving average, SMA, and the exponential moving average, EMA. The simple moving average is the mean of the data points. For example, if you were using a 20-day moving average on stocks, the price for each of the past 20 days would be added together and then divided by 20 to generate the moving average. As new price data is added each day, the 20-day moving average shifts forward, always using the latest 20 available data points. Each data point is weighted equally in the simple moving average, regardless of whether it happened yesterday or 20 days ago. Similarly, an exponential moving average will also take an average of the data points over a given period of time, like the simple moving average. However, the weighting of each data point is not equal. More weight is given to the most recent data, and the weightings decrease as you go farther back in time. In other words, the exponential moving average treats recent data as more relevant and more important compared to historical data. In investing, traders are always looking for signals to buy or sell. By weighting recent data more heavily, exponential moving averages can give traders clear trend signals faster than the simple moving average. However, this can also increase the number of false signals. For this reason, many traders use an exponential moving average in combination with a simple moving average. So that's that. I hope you've uh, you've learned from that. Um, this EMA is I use EMA because it's faster. It's right. It's right. It's right there, right next to the chart, and it just makes you it makes it easier for you to learn and understand change and trend in the stock at any given time. So that's why I use it. I hope you've learned learned something. Let's get back into the video. Thank you for watching. I hope you, you've learned something from that video. Uh, my goal with that video is just to show you how to use EMA. Just a quick re recap. When the yellow EMA, which is the five EMA, once it's above the chart, it's usually a bullish sign that a, the that a stock would, would go up. And then once it's below, once it's below the chart, and um, the 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 five EMA is right below. If the five EMA is right below the um, thirteen EMA, that usually signify that the stock will keep on going down. So I hope you've learned something. Please, you're probably not gonna catch what I'm trying to say in your first view of that video. So please watch it about one or tw two times for you to get it. Um, it's using the EMA like that. It's so, it's really, really great. It's really easy for you to be able to see what's going on and ex see exactly when the change in trend happens on any particular stock. So that's why I use them. And that's why I'm sharing, sharing it with you so you can use it in your trade as well. So please like the video, subscribe, Please stick around. I want you around. You're going to learn a lot about dividend investing, trading, and just trying to grow your money in general with this channel. So please stick around. Subscribe. Thank you and have a good day. Bye. Love you all.